1025. Let's head for Falkirk. Eddie's on the line. Hi, Eddie. Hello. Hi there. Hi, panel. How you doing? Very well, thank Good you, Eddie. Yeah, when I analyse it and you look back, I mean, I, I think uh, the Scottish referees, I think the system is actually corrupt, fundamentally corrupt. And I, I think they've been cheating Celtic uh, for the last maybe 40, 50 years in decisions and the referees have refereed Celtic games in Scotland. And regardless, uh, you know, you can label me and how many other Celtic fans as paranoid, you know. If you've got a degree in psychology, I might accept your diagnosis of a mental state, but when you analyse, you know, decision after decision, you know, Mike McCurry, that's not against Celtic, but the, the, the decision had an influence in Celtic's result uh, that season when Rangers were given dodgy penalties all over the place that game, dodgy decisions. You know, someone was talking about the, the, the George Cadetti uh, affair with that takes it right to the highest echelons of the SFA where discrimination against Celtic per se as I would say is rife you know are, are thousands of Celtic fans paranoid and just to be dismissed as that when we see you know last season uh, Majid Bagheera given a cheeky wink uh, where maybe about seven or eight times uh, he's kept fouling and he was ready on a yellow card and he, he gave a wink as if to say I'm never going to get sent off here and every Celtic fan would say well you, of course you're not going to get sent off because the referee's in the pocket of your team so if, uh, you know as a Free speech, does it exist? Well, I was on last week criticising Hugh Keevans and I went to listen to it back again and I wasn't on there. What's, what's the problem with Radio Clyde? I'm not censored before in the past from going to a Celtic game and most of your people have hacks who work for the media whose uh, raison d'etre is just to slag off Celtic at every given course, you know? Many Judas Iscariot's taking their 30 shekels of silver who are Celtic fans, but the only way they get a job in the media is to come on and be high and critical of Celtic. That's just the way it is when we're living in a country where only 700,000 people are Catholic, so the Eddie, is, Eddie. Is Catholic. No, listen, but Eddie, Eddie, nothing, right? Eddie, the discrimination I'm... in this country is right. Eddie. Right up to the referees and the SFA. So cut me off if you want and silence me if you want. <laughs> Eddie, I'm the sports editor here and you weren't cut out of any programme last week. But anyway, I'm going to ask you a question. Is this religious discrimination? Is this racial discrimination? What nonsense are you spouting? Well, it's a mixture. And I was, I was talking about the playback, how you cut off the playback, but just because I tax you, Kevins. So I would say it's discrimination against Celtic as a club. Go back 50 years... Robert Kelly was told, take down the Irish trickler. Well, why should we? Because we were born a club out of oppression where the people who were massacred, uh, a million people, and they had to flee for their lives, and the discrimination still exists to this day because more than half the, 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 the population is uh, from the ancestors of the discrimination has been carrying about for over 150 years. The right. people fled for a life from Ireland to come here. Celtic was born as, uh, because the Irish people were starving to death. Yeah, Eddie, I don't need a history lesson, but I, I'm, tr I'm trying to get to your point. Are, are you suggesting that to, to become a referee, you have to have something in you against Celtic? Is that, is that what you're saying? I know friends who have Catholic-sounding names, who have been denied a job in coaching for the SFA, have been denied access to any type of uh, progression through any ranks of the SFA, just the account of their name. Eddie, thank you for your call. 0845.